me to ask him? You want me to ask him or do you want to go? Yeah, you Dave, do. on one, two, three, you got it. Yeah, where's, 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 where's the little, where's the little cue thing? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the introduction. That's me, I point to you talk. Just yell as loud as you can uh, right. so they can hear you at least. Brief history of the okay. band. Dino and uh, Bert. Bert? Yeah. Bert? Brief, Dino. brief history Dino of the Bert. band. Uh, about 60 minutes. <laughs> No, I'm serious, man. This oh. is a two-hour interview, by the way. Oh, fuck. No, <laughs> no it's not. Um, Dino and I were already friends. Dino was jamming around with some bands in the local area. And I had this other band that was like on the alternative side. And uh, we lived together. That's how I knew him. We lived together in this big house. And, uh, you know, he came to our shows. And, uh, we never really went to his shows because they were out in like, East LA or somewhere like that. And my band broke up basically, and he asked this, band, this guy he was jamming with, Raymond, was the drummer with. They uh, decided to just like jam together for a while, and he asked me to come down and you know check it out, and, you know maybe do a little bit of vocals or whatever. And it kind of seemed to work out that way. Um, Dino wondered if I could sing low or not, so I showed him. He was like, "Wow!" <laughs> and. Uh, Checked it out. It seemed to work okay. So we've been together about since October 31st, 1990. Yeah, since Halloween. Yeah, Halloween actually. Was it? Yeah. Very first practice of Fear Factory was Halloween night. You guys developed a big following in the LA area? Uh, it took a long time to do it. Yeah, but yeah, we got some. It's like a, like we played a lot of LA and like a lot of the LA bands were just like kind of like you know just death metal and all the kids were used to that death metal. So it was like. When we came along, they didn't know how to take us. So yeah. it took a while for them, for them to get used to us. But yeah. now we got a pretty big following. Right. Yeah. They, since we are different than the whole local scene, pretty much, they accepted us slowly. And they, just, they seem to like it a lot. Yeah, you say you're different from the scene. How do you how do you like to describe your music? Is it uh, that description? I wouldn't exactly call it pure death metal. I wouldn't exactly call it pure grind. Yeah, it has aspects of everything. It's uh, fair factory. Yes. Yeah, it's Basically, like, it's Fear Factory. You know, I, I usually let other people you know, try to describe yeah, it or I, label it or yeah. categorize it or whatever. Yeah, well, you can this, call it whatever. We just call it music. The scene, <laughs> the scene we started out in, though, was the death metal scene in L.A., the underground scene. You know, playing backyard gigs, you know, warehouses the size of this place right here, um, you know, stages the, small, the size of that camera. <laughs> it's just, you know, it took a long time. Yeah, what do you uh, draw your lyrical and musical inspiration from? Yeah, how do you, what do you write your songs about? Uh, from life experiences. Living in LA? Living, living in general. Living in general. Living in whatever, whatever, uh, whatever um, a, a, Emotions, feelings, uh, things that happen to friends of mine, like Dino, for instance. It's the song Scapegoat, it's basically about Dino, I wrote that. Some, a lot of garbage happened with him, and uh, he had to go through a lot of it. And it's drugged through this legal system and basically made a scapegoat. And uh, that's the song Scapegoat. Yeah. Uh, song Crash Test. You know, I'm, I'm not a vegetarian, but I do believe that, that vivisection and animal cruelty sucks. You know? And uh, that, that still affects me. You don't have to be a vegetarian to believe that, you know, vivisection, all that stuff. Yeah. A lot of people say that you do, but you don't, you know? Just the compassion for another animal, a mammal, you know, of this earth is, you know, feeling enough. So you basically get into, like, a lot of your ideas through your songs, kind of, but you're not really trying to preach to everybody. You're exactly. Good. I don't want to preach. I just right. want to, you know, look, this is going on. Just make to show. Make people aware. Make people aware, exactly. Cool. Got anything you want to add to that? You know, if people want to believe it, then they can. If they don't, then they don't. That's about it. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Just as simple as that. More, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have like any songs that would you know kind of describe the band best or harder? Harder. Harder's a good song. What's that? A, what's that a... Uh, really, it's a made-up thing. Yeah. You know, the, the title "Martyr." Um, you know, martyr is someone who you know gives up their own life for the lives of, of an idea or just the lives of many other people. This guy basically. He's a martyr in his own mind. You know, he, he doesn't want to be here. So that's what that's basically what that's about. It's a kind of a depressing thing. I, wrote, I, I was really depressed when I wrote it, actually. Is this the first time you guys have been to San Francisco before? Played, yeah. Played, yeah. 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 We've been up here a couple, 
you know, visiting or whatever, but... Yeah, but no... No, you never played up here. What do you think of it so far, meaning, you know, just the the vibe, you know, you kind of get The vibe's pretty good so far. Yeah. We know a lot of people are going to be at this show. I don't know if they're going to see us or not, but... <laughs> We got, we got a lot of friends here in San Francisco. Yeah, we got yeah, a lot of friends. Hopefully a lot of them will show up tonight. So, but, you know, that, back to that martyr, it's just that there's so many different things going on in that song, you know, musically and lyrically. I think, I think the music the music of that song really describes cool. the fear factor. What it's yeah, about. do you have any, uh, any last words to the fans you know, about touring us though, or where you guys going to be next? Uh, or? Well, we got an EP coming out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, it should be out like in late April. Late What's April. What's it called? It's going to be called Fear is the Mind Killer, and it's a remix rec EP done by Frontline Assembly. They remixed Martyr, Scapegoat, self Revelation, Scum Grief, and uh, it's going to be like industrial, techno, whatever. Dance remix, remixes. Dance remixes. It's, it's mainly just like an offshoot type thing. It's not really like saying that that's the kind of direction we're going to go into. Exactly. It's just, you know, Don't you know most, most of the people who like our stuff know that Fear Factory is not like a one-dimensional type band. We're not that we can do whatever, you exactly. know. Yeah, we're going to very extreme. Yeah, yeah just uh, never yeah. expect the same thing twice from us. We're just going to keep on changing, and um, hopefully our listeners will keep on changing too. You know? And just when you do listen to our record, have an open mind. Very open mind. Yeah. You have to listen to the whole record to understand it. Uh, I sure as hell did when I first listened to it. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. I loved it from the start, man. I was just like, wow. wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That's just cool, man. I really appreciate cool. it. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. Right Thank on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tales from the pit. <laughs> <laughs> um.